Hey guys, today we are gonna cook up a classic recipe, Swedish meatballs. I think most of us were raised eating Swedish meatballs, or maybe you've had some at Ikea. I don't know, but it is a classic recipe. Yeah. Ikea, the furniture store. <laughs> Yeah. It's it's a it's a Swedish company and so they serve Swedish meatballs. You didn't know that? Now you know. So anyway, this is my version of Swedish meatballs, and we're gonna go ahead and start with the meatballs, which are made with organic grass-fed ground beef. Some people use pork. Some people use a combination of the two meats. Um, I'm just gonna use beef, and so we're gonna do the meatballs first, and then make the like gravy or the sauce that they soak in, and then we're gonna serve over egg noodles. Some people like to serve over mashed potatoes. I like them with egg noodles. What do you think? Egg noodles? This is my daughter, Audrey, and she is gonna give me a helping hand with rolling all of these meatballs, right? So we'll just go ahead and get started, okay? So we're gonna start with the meatballs, and then we'll make the sauce slash gravy that they're going to soak in. So I've got one pound of organic grass-fed ground beef. All right, and um, could you give me the green little cup measure there? To that, we're gonna add a half a cup of plain panko breadcrumbs. I like the panko. You can use the finer grind regular, but I like the texture of these better, personally. Okay, and then some minced onion. This is a third a cup of finely minced onion. I chopped it with a knife, or you could do it in a food processor. You just don't want really big onion chunks going into the meatballs. And um, Audrey, you wanna go ahead and put some pepper, grind some pepper in there. So you'll put about a um, quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper, one egg, okay, one teaspoon of salt, okay, one teaspoon of garlic powder, which I'm gonna eyeball, okay. And um, can you give me a little bowl with the parsley? So I chopped up about um, a half a cup of fresh parsley. We're gonna put some on the top when the recipe's done and we're gonna put about uh, two teaspoons or so into the meat mixture. Okay, we're gonna put a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and we're gonna use some later also. Okay, and that's it for the meatballs. So let me mix with a spoon a little bit and then I'm gonna get my hands in there. Okay, so I've got my electric frying pan, which is nice and big, and I'm gonna turn it on. And can you give me the olive oil, sweetie? All right, and we're gonna put about a tablespoon of olive oil in the pan. All right, and while that heats up, I'm gonna get my hands in here. Mmm, smell. Good, right? Yummy. Okay, so I've got the meat well mixed and uh, we're gonna start rolling little mini meatballs. And behind me, I have a pan going with some water to cook the egg noodles. So it's a nice fast dinner done in you know less than 30 minutes. So you're just gonna pick up, oops, small handfuls and roll, okay? So you're gonna do it with me? Okay, about like that. And then drop them in the oil. All right, so we're gonna get all of these rolled out and dropped into the oil. And um, so you'll cook them for you know maybe five to seven minutes. You want them pretty golden brown on all sides, you know, stirring or shaking the pan often so that all the sides of the meatballs get cooked. And then we'll set them aside in a dish while we make the sauce. Keep going around and around and around so they get nice and round, okay? All right, so we'll go ahead and get these rolled and then we will be back. All right, these are nice and browned, so I'm gonna pull them out. I think they have been going for about six minutes. All 
And actually just the smell of Swedish meatballs really and truly brings me back to childhood because my mom made them a lot. And yeah, you know how smells take you right back? Nostalgia, right? I'm feeling it. So um, I'm just gonna gently wipe the pan out with some paper towels, okay? All right, and now we're gonna make our sauce. So I'm gonna melt three tablespoons of butter first. All right, so Audrey, three tablespoons of flour in there right away, the butter melted. So melt your butter and then add the flour. Nice and level, okay? One. All right, so three tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of flour, get it mixed. This is gonna thicken our sauce, this along with some heavy cream. Okay, so mix it until it forms like a paste. And to that, we're gonna add some beef broth. Can I have the beef broth? And the blue cup measure. All right, can you uh, put two cups? We're gonna start with two cups of beef broth and add more if we need it. Okay, and you wanna turn your heat up and get it boiling so that that flour mixture dissolves. Okay. All right, next we're gonna do a tablespoon of the Worcestershire sauce, Audrey. Okay, so one tablespoon of Worcestershire goes in. And it's starting to thicken already. All right, so Audrey's gonna do half a cup of heavy cream and while she does that, I'm gonna put a teaspoon of salt. and about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And a teaspoon of dried paprika. And the soy sauce, please. Okay, once it's boiling, you can turn it down a little bit. Just wanna let it simmer. Okay, soy sauce. All right, and all right, that's it for our sauce. Mm, it smells amazing. Smell it, what do you think? I'm just gonna put a little more broth. Let's say a fourth of a cup. Just looks like it needs a little more liquid. All right, so that's bubbling, everything's mixed, it's thick. And so then we just put our meatballs back in carefully. Ooh, yummy. How's it look, kiddo? Okay, and we're gonna just mix it around and let those meatballs soak in the juice, okay, for a couple minutes. While it's lightly bubbling and then we'll serve it over the egg noodles. All right, talk about a really fast recipe, right? So these are done, everything's bubbling. I'm gonna turn the heat off and then we're just gonna go ahead and sprinkle some fresh parsley over the top. All right, about a tablespoon or so. I don't know if I'm gonna use all that, it might be too much. Okay, and then mix that in. Mmm. Okay, so I scooped some egg noodles into a bowl. And then just get that sauce all over. Some meatballs. What do you think? Wanna try? Okay. 
Hopefully they're not too hot. Here, blow on that. Give me a fork too. We'll try together. good really good good comfort food right there so go out and make some Swedish meatballs for your family and they will thank you I'd like to say thank you so much for watching remember that all my recipes are down below share my videos with your friends hit the like button if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't and please have yourself a blessed day